gonna make some coffee and some breakfast and we're gonna have a coffee talk. Yeah, everything from what I've been eating lately, what jobs I started, um, how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, what I wanna be doing in the next few weeks, boyfriends, friends, not boyfriends, one boyfriend, friends, everything. Honestly, this is just like me and the freaking venti coffee YouTube video all over again. Like I just can't stop talking and then it's just the most annoying video you ever watch. My cute little bar stools that I just got. Hello? So I've been working with a lot of grocery brands, as you can see, and then I've been working with this insane brand called Saqqara. They sent me like a 10 day reset and it's basically recipes, it's teas, probiotic. So I'm going to be making a little smoothie bowl. This your girl likes spinach. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. I needed a change. I just kind of got out of a period where I wasn't very happy with what I was doing. Um, I'm still not there yet. I'm still not in a great position, but I'm in a position where I'm ready to share a life update and what has been going on, what I've been doing, what's changed including this chopped off hair. Regarding um, health and food and fitness, I have been doing that little detox and ordering nothing but like fruits and veggies. I've been doing a lot of like raw eating where I'm just eating like no gluten, no added sugars, um, super clean eating to go along with my detox. And then yeah, I'm adding like my little protein to my, um, to my bowls in the morning, probiotics, all that. And then just eating super clean and then working out. I'm trying to work out every other day, if not sometimes days in a row. Um, when I went to San Francisco, I did hot yoga a few times with my friend and it was so nice just to kind of get away, but it also has caused me to take a little bit of a break. I don't know if anyone notices, because no one ever says anything. I like decreased the amount of stories I was posting. Some days I had nothing up, which is not like me at all. I have the content, like I have old photos and so much that I've never posted that I could be posting every single day. I just wasn't doing it. I wasn't posting every day. I wasn't putting things on my story. I wasn't updating anyone. Just because I felt a little disconnected, like as soon as you start to take a little bit, a bit of a break, you really just slowly but surely stop and it's really hard to get back in. So as soon as I got back from Sydney and it took me a while to try and edit the vlog, I just kind of like pushed myself away and then I started to feel like I wasn't feeling confident in anything every time I like tried to edit photos and tried to um, edit videos, it just like wasn't what I wanted it to be so I would just push it off but at the same time putting me in a rut because I wasn't posting and wasn't keeping people updated and that's my job. So it really kind of puts you in this mindset that like you have to be doing it and that's stressful and it's hard and I wasn't doing very well a couple of the days. So I'm just like slowly but surely trying to get myself out of that, posting for myself, trying to reach out to people. I came out here thinking that I could do it and I know I can do it. That's the thing with social media too, like I know I can do it and I just need to put my head to it. I know I can do YouTube. I know I can do all three new jobs and YouTube and Instagram together. So I know I'm capable and I do love it. Just a matter of getting it done and finding that mindset that I know I'm gonna do it and I know I want to do it. And yeah, and then I got my hair cut. So 
I figured that would be a good change. That would make me want to create new content. It would make me want to post a video. So here I am with a haircut, making a video. Usually when you have coffee, people, they um, have a chance to talk. So you have a chance to drink your coffee, but I'm the only one talking, so. Okay, I need to try this bowl. I don't have stuff in my teeth while I'm talking. Mm. Like I said, I started three new jobs and one of them, I'm running the social media for their brand. It's a jewelry brand. I take all the photos. I create all the content, the caption. Another one, I'm reaching out to girls. It's an apparel company and I reach out to girls and ask if they want to become ambassadors. So for now, that's my job and then that will also turn into another social media job and then there's another job where i it's really cool it's a food business so this business is actually going to be one of like the first technologies um like there's it's just it's amazing and i'm super stoked to be working with them so i'm kind of helping them gather um information and leads and stuff like that I do feel really blessed that like I do have jobs that I'm somewhat passionate about but they're not mine and I definitely need to learn to do jobs that I don't necessarily love in order to get to where I want to be but I have such a hard time with that honestly. I just do what I love every day and I really live by that and I only want to do what I love. I only want to be working for jobs that I love and not going to college because I don't want to, moving to LA because I want to. like starting what I want to be starting at 19 because I can because I want to I don't want to wait for anything I think this life is way too short to ever wait for what you want I may not be living like my dream at the moment but I know that I'm halfway there and that's amazing and that feels so good if I went to college if I didn't move I would only be a step behind and each step that I've taken so far is just inching me closer to my dream at a younger age and that's really exciting to me have you guys ever seen those videos where the, like people literally just eat on camera? Girl finishes whole Chipotle burrito in one video. Like what? How is that a job? Like people make money off that. I should do that. I don't stop until I finish my entire plate. Like every time I eat. It's really hard to film a video. You really can't even see that I dyed it. More of a caramel color. And it's a little bit ashier it's not as golden oh my gosh that hurt so bad i think i tried to like suck in air at the same time i was sucking and then it like you guys would have been here to witness it me die on the floor honestly i'm not supposed to be having coffee with this detox but I wanted to do a coffee talk, so but I haven't had it in like four days because of the detox, which is not like me. I usually have one or two cups every day, so this is why I'm gonna be real. Honestly, this is just like me and the freaking venti coffee YouTube video all over again. Like, I just can't stop talking. I'm really excited to be doing this. Didn't know I'd wake up and do this today, and I'm really happy I did. So, thank you. If you're watching, if you came and watched it, I'm super happy you did because I'm super happy to be making it. I'm super happy I'm back. Honestly, no one probably realized I was gone, but I'm super happy to be back. <laughs> and I really hope this kind of like sets me off on a good foot. I really hope this hair just really sets the tone. It's so weird. Like, you know what? It takes you like so long to get used to it. And I already touch my hair so much. So I really notice it. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my little talk. I hope you leave a little comment and let me know what you guys want to be seeing from me, what you guys thought of this. I could just sit here and chat. Aww. My best friends are in Paris. Gavin, if you're watching. Oh, I did say I was going to talk about family, boyfriends, and friends. Gavin, I love you. Also, within that period, not really posting, kind of getting in like a little weird little place. I didn't see Gavin for three weeks. So I was leaving and I was home alone and I was feeling super lonely. He was down in Mexico and 
really no service so that really got to me gavin if you're watching this you already know how i feel about it that sucked <laughs> i did my best i did i did i think i did a really good job like as a girlfriend anytime he got the chance to get service and call me i just wanted to be like tell me about your day like i don't want to talk about mine but it ended up getting super hard because i was just there were some days where it was like dang i really need someone i really need um I really need Gavin in my life. I really need to be able to call him. That didn't help. They want to combine our worlds and somehow have either him here or me there. Like I love him and I would go for him any day of the week, but it's not, there's not much for me there. Just like a place where I can go and sit and work. There's not a lot of room for that. So I do wish we could kind of combine worlds a little bit. Six, almost seven years of on and off long distance has just been a lot and then with me moving here and moving out for the very first time, it's definitely made me um, want to be around him a lot more and finally be able to live in like the same city and see him so much more. And I thought me moving would be like an opportunity for us to see each other a lot more, but it really hasn't been. Um, and I think we'll have that opportunity later on in life and that's just gonna be something that I need to wait for. Regarding friends, there has been some people since I've moved out here that I've distanced a little bit from. Like my core girls, I'm still very close with. I don't see them as much. I wish we still did as much together as we used to, but with my new jobs and everything going on, it's kind of made me not be able to do everything they do. I'm gonna promise myself that I'm gonna stay here and get my shit together. Thank you for coming to my coffee talk. I really enjoyed myself and I really hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you're feeling fun and funky.